Seven years since Chief Mediator Kofi Annan handed over the now infamous Waki envelope to the then International Criminal Court Chief Prosecutor Louis Moreno Ocampo, Kenyans to date only know six suspects who are accused of funding the 207 post-poll violence. They are former Industrialization Minister Henry Kosge, former Police Commissioner Hussein Ali, former Head of Public Service Francis Mudaura, and former radio presenter Joshua Arab Sang. Others are President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Bruto. All, save for Ruto and Sang, have been acquitted of crimes against humanity charges that had been leveled against them. But it is failure to disclose the other names contained in the envelope that left Ugandan born troublesome activist David Matsanga and John Kimani file an application at the Hague based ICC on February 13th, challenging the admission of the report by the Commission of Inquiry into post election violence as evidence in the case of the prosecutor against Ruto and Sang. In the application filed at the Milimani Law Courts, the two claim that they have to be availed with part of the report which they argue is being held illegally to enable them to prosecute the case pending before ICC. According to the two, the disclosure of the contents and names contained in the sealed envelope is extremely necessary and important in implementing all recommendations made by Philip Waki. Elsewhere, the court has given the prosecution three days to conclude investigations and file charges against Kabete Member of Parliament George Mushai's murder suspects. This is after Principal Magistrate Joseph Karanja declined an application by the prosecution that the seven accused persons be detained further. The court, while declining the application, said that the three suspects have been detained for more than 25 days and detaining them further would amount to an infringement on their rights since no charges have been preferred against them. The court also directed the police to escort the accused to Kenyatta National Hospital or to the government chemist to extract samples for analysis and comparison with blood collected from the scene of crime. The matter will be mentioned this Friday.